Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Welcome back to the Dutch Sheet Channel. And um, yeah, in this video, I had planned to show you the new Cyclops uh, FV goggle from Hobby King. Um, I've somehow misplaced it though. Um, so uh, give me a minute and um, I'll uh, go look it up and I'll get uh, back to you. Hold on. Ah, and there it is. All right. Um, yes, a new set of uh, goggles or goggle, whichever you prefer, from Hobby King. And it's called the Cyclops from Quantum, Quantum Cyclops. Um, so, what didn't uh, Hobby King recently release their V2 Pro goggles? What is this? Well, um, Apart from being not a do-it-yourself goggle, it is all integrated, as you can probably tell. It has a hard plastic shell and uh, the receiver is integrated. You've got a, a few buttons uh, for the OSD over here. So it is basically a completely different kind of uh, goggle uh, for a different market. And this is going to replace their version 1 do-it-yourself goggles. So it, therefore it's a, an entry-level set of goggles. Uh, <clears throat> um, doesn't mean that I won't be using it by the way. Um, I'll obviously be testing it. In this video I'll do a, uh, a uh, real life test with it. Uh, but we'll first have a look what it is and um, uh, the specs. Yeah, ah, yeah the specs. Um, at the time of the shooting of this video, this, uh, these goggles have not been released yet, so I don't have all the, the facts and figures on it. But the things I do know, I'll put on screen right now. And obviously you can pause the video if you want to have a closer look at those specifications. Okay, so like I said, hard plastic shell and an OSD and uh, with these three buttons you can enter the OSD. That OSD is only for the screen settings though. So your brightness, uh, contrast, uh, saturation, things like that. You can alter with these three buttons. And the goggle also has an integrated 40 channel 5.8 gigahertz receiver. Um, it does not have a, di a display uh, so you um, can't see from the goggles what frequency it's tuned uh, to, but it has an auto scan button over here. So you simply press that button and it'll, it'll scan for your quadcopter plane, wh whichever you're FPVing with. And let's see, yeah, at front you uh, simply have the, the Quantum and the Cyclops logo, and on each side you have a slider, just like on the other Quantum. Uh, FEV goggles. Uh, this is to focus the magnification uh, lens. These goggles do have a Fresnel lens again. So like the version 1 and the version 2. Um, yeah, it is a three times magnification uh, uh, Fresnel lens. We'll just see how well that works out. Um, you can still use uh, your glasses in these goggles. Their glasses fit right in there. No problem at all. I've already tested that. Works just fine. All right, we've got uh, three uh, adjustable straps. Velcro over here, Velcro over here. And an adjustment buckle at the top over here. And this is very nice. I wish they would have done that with the V2 or the V2 Pro. A uh, yeah, piece of uh, tubing to run your uh, power cable through. Very nice. And over here at the back you see a little pocket for uh, the battery. Uh, can be a battery or a LiPo, whichever you prefer. And uh, obviously if you look into these goggles over here you can see the Fresnel lens and some foam padding for your comfort. Very very nice. Um, yeah, looks fine to me and it is pretty light as well. Uh, lighter than, uh, for instance, the V2 uh, with a receiver mounted on it. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with this Fat Shark aerial, by the way. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a look at what does come with this, these goggles. Hold on. 
All right, this is everything that comes with the goggle, apart from the manual. It comes with two, at least mine came with two power leads. Uh, this one uh, to uh, power the goggle uh, with an XC60 connector, so a LiPo, 2S, 3S LiPo. Uh, you can also power the goggles with a 9 volt battery though. I'm sure you're familiar with this plug. It comes with a rubber ducky antenna. Now, yes, uh, rubber, rubber ducky antennas are not ideal. However, for beginners they work out pretty reasonable, reasonably. Uh, why? Well, because a beginner will generally not be flying very low. And if you are flying higher up, a rubber ducky tends to work out pretty okay. Uh, eventually you'll probably uh, move on uh, up to uh, better aerials, but to get you started will work. So that's okay. And uh, the last thing is a piece of rubber which you can uh, glue in, or it, it has sticky tape by the way at the back, that you can uh, fit into the nose section of the goggle to uh, accommodate for other shapes of noses. Very, very nice. Okay, and let's take a look at the manual. Here's the manual. Yeah, there's not a lot to it. You have a frequency table. Um, it shows you how to uh, focus the lens and use the menu, uh, how to scan for frequencies. And yes, um, well, what else do you need? There's not a lot to to using a goggle like this, right? So, uh, yeah, manual is just fine. Oh, it uh, mentions a few uh, FEV transmitters that will go onto your plane slash quadcopter, some cameras, a suitable battery for uh, the goggle. Yeah, manual looks just fine. And there's actually one um, extra thing about these uh, goggles or this goggle. Um, which is the box, and that's not unimportant because it has a very convenient box. Um, it has a carrying handle, and you can uh, simply flip it on open. And uh, yeah, it has some uh, foam padding at, uh, at the, in the lid. And the box is actually not that much bigger than the goggle itself. As you can see, it fits in there tightly. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it fits the other way around. Okay, there you go. Yeah, obviously you need to take off uh, the aerial, but a uh, very convenient box to uh, store and transport your goggles in. Keeps it uh, clean and safe. Um, th this should have been added to the V2 uh, and the V2 Pro as well. Very convenient, I'm happy about that. All right, uh, with that all said and done, uh, let's take the goggle out to the field and see if it uh, works at all and, uh, and how well it works. So, here we go. Okay, so um, I'm outdoors now and I've got an uh, FV tricopter uh, set up over there. Um, somehow I misplaced the Cyclops uh, goggles again, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll find it uh, in a minute or two. So I'm uh, gonna get some things set up. And we're gonna have a look how, uh, how these uh, goggles work out for us. Here we go. All right, we're up and away. And, okay, uh, yeah, as in uh, any FPV system of today, you can see a little pixelating. But, not very much really. This is pretty, pretty immersive. And it's also uh, windy up there. <laughs> um, but there, my reception is just great. Um, it's about as good as on the the the, the dual diversity dual diversity auto scan uh, system pretty uh, good better than i had expected really i have not seen any snow at all and i'm 
up pretty high. Yeah, this works out good. I also have remarkably little control over my tricopter, by the way. What is going on? Okay, um, I'm not sure what's going on with my tricopter. I have, and I don't have a lot of control over it. So, um, oh, I have control back. Maybe it's the wind. Um, but the FPV experience is just great. Surprisingly good. Far better than I had expected. I have not seen any snow at all. Now that's not the only thing of importance of course. Uh, you also want to know if it's comfortable to wear. And uh, yeah, so far it's comfortable to wear. Uh, more comfortable actually than the, the V2 Pros I, uh, I also have. It's pretty light. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, light bleeding in from the sides. A little bit. Not a whole lot though. It's not uh, to the point that it's, that it's uh, distracting at all. So that, that's good. Yeah, my reception is just uh, just great. Um, no snow at all so far. Pretty amazing. I'm uh, generally impressed. So yeah, the the video receiver in this goggle is is great. Uh, the screen is yeah, it it has a Fresnel a Fresnel uh, lens. Right, but I don't really see those lines or anything. Uh, crispy, clear picture. Focus is good. I am wearing my uh, reading glasses, by the way, in the goggles at the moment. Um, I haven't tried the goggles yet without that, but uh, this this works out. Uh, let's not crash. Okay, oh, I think my battery is done. Okay, um, okay, I'm gonna retrieve my uh, tricopter and uh, then we'll uh, have a little recap of this uh, flight. Uh, hold on. Okay, so what are my first impressions of the Cyclops goggles or, or goggle, whatever you prefer? I am impressed. Um, yes, I also have the V2 Pros and a normal uh, V2. I think I'm going to be using this goggle for a while though. Very convenient of course that you don't have uh, cables uh, hanging off on the side. It's, it's very clean. Um, yes, I was flying it with an Immersion RC uh, Cloverleaf antenna. So that helps the signal uh, reception out a bit, obviously. But um, I've actually never flown anything out of radio range. And even then the, the video reception was great. Yeah, uh, the thing isn't uh, heavy at all on your nose. Uh, the, the foam is reasonably comfortable, reasonably could be a little better, but it's reasonable. Um, yeah, the monitor works out just fine. I'm happy with it. So uh, yeah, this was uh, my initial test. I'll uh, do a follow-up in a few weeks probably. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope this was somewhat uh, informative for you. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And hope to see you back in another video. Bye-bye.